everyone. So today's video I want to share with you everything, not everything, some pieces of my hiking wardrobe. So when I'm hiking or when I'm outdoors, I want everything that I'm wearing to be very thought out and necessary. I don't want to just like throw together an outfit to look cute. Everything from summer to winter, layering is the key, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. To start off with, this is a very basic piece. I really like to stick to the dry fit material. This one was from Old Navy. I'm pretty sure it was probably like $5. It's nothing special. Plus they're very stretchy, but they're kind of form-fitting as well, so they're comfortable, but cute. And then this I just recently got from the Sierra Trading Post. It's from New Balance. I'm pretty sure this was like $5.99 or something. It has like ruching on the side. And again, this is like that dry fit material, super, super stretchy. For base layer pieces like this, I like to stick with stuff that's very cheap because if you have a backpack that has like the, the hip thingy, um, it's gonna rub. And then if you have expensive stuff, it may or may not get ruined over time. So I like to stick to cheaper pieces because I, this is what I typically hike in. And then whenever I stop to take a break or like out camping or something, that's when I'll put the layers back on because that's probably when I'll get colder. I live in Washington and like today, it's really hot near my house. But if I were to go up a mountain, obviously temperatures change with altitude. So I do like to carry a thin, it's not even a sweater. What are these? It's like a track jacket. So this has a thumb hole. Again, it's the dry fit material. It's good to throw in your backpack for a summer hike or a spring hike. So my next item is kind of for a chillier day, but you don't want to bring a full on jacket. I actually got this at Goodwill for like $3. I like this because it has pockets, it's really, really soft, and I do think vests are very, very functional. They kind of look funny, but especially when you're hiking and it's cold, but you're hiking so you're also sweating, so you don't overheat, but then you're not cold. The next piece is one that I'm probably not going to actually hike in, but it's what I would probably start off wearing during the day or put back on whenever we take breaks or we get to the destination and we're kind of hanging out. This is my Patagonia Better sweater. I love that it has this pocket on the arm. So this is probably one of my favorite just because it is really cute, but it's also really warm, really, really thick, and also really, really comfortable. So this one and my raincoat that I'm gonna show you in a second is actually what I wear whenever I go snowboarding. This is by Columbia. It has the Omni Heat, which is that reflective kind of material has a bunch of pockets because it's like this down material you can squish it really small in your backpack which is great so you definitely want something really nice and warm if you're going to go camping it or hiking in the winter and i definitely recommend a nice thick poofy jacket don't get a like non poofy jacket <laughs> just because these squish down more so I just think they're more convenient if you do take it off and you want to put it in your backpack So this is my raincoat. It's also my ski jacket, but it has a bunch of pockets It's longer so it kind of covers my butt if I want to sit down on like a wet log or something like that um, Raincoats are obviously a necessity if you live in the Pacific Northwest it has a hood It's adjustable with this little bungee. So those are like my go-to tops for hiking, not those exact ones because I have a lot of base layers, but I really like the dry fit material. I like thick layers like the Patagonia sweater, a nice poofy jacket, a good material raincoat. So I'm gonna start off with my rain pants. This isn't the type of pants that you wear over your underwear. This is the kind of pants that you put over whatever you're already wearing and it starts to rain. It's very similar to the material of a rain jacket. If you can hear that, it's kind of that like squishy, not squishy, but that material. I would say these are a necessity if you plan on doing overnight hikes because nothing's worse than it starts raining and you didn't even set up camp yet and then you're just getting soaked. These were like $20 from Sierra Trading Post. You're not gonna break the bank with them, but these are nice because they button really tight around your boots and yeah. They're just like raincoats for your legs. So within the past year, I have discovered that hiking in 
yoga pants or leggings is actually extremely comfortable if you get the right kind of leggings. Like sometimes they just keep falling and then you keep pulling them up. Some of them, like this one, just stays in place. This is my one and only pair of Lulu leggings. I wouldn't buy a lot of them because they're expensive, but compared to cheaper ones, I will have to give them credit and be like, yeah, these are pretty good because the material is just so thick and I have washed these so many times. They always keep their shape. They don't stretch out. These particular ones have really big pockets on the side. I really like hiking in yoga pants because they fit close to your body that you don't have a lot of fabric that can get tugged on like leaves or sticks or something when you brush up against like a narrow trail. Um, but it also keeps your legs covered in case you do graze against like poison ivy or something like that. Before I started wearing yoga pants while hiking, I had these, which were my go-to. I call these my adventure pants because I just feel like I'm going on an adventure when I'm wearing these. These are by Columbia. I actually found them at Ross. I remember that and I was like so shocked to find Columbia at Ross. But, and it was literally the only one in the entire store and it just happened to fit. This one has like zipper pockets um, everywhere and then it has like a reinforced knee. It has like this material over the knee that just makes it a little bit stronger. These are super stretchy like yoga pants, but the material is that dry fit material again. So it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant more than leggings would be. At least they would dry faster. And... Yeah, they're just really cool. I really like these. I wore these pretty much every day in Iceland and I just layered these on top of leggings because it was really, really cold. So I wore my leggings as kind of like a, my base layer for warmth. And then I wore these kind of as a windbreaker slash water resistant kind of thing. And they worked really great. And on the rare occasion, I don't typically like to hike in shorts, but if we're doing like a beach hike or something like that, or if it's just really, really hot, I do like wearing these. This is again, dry fit material. It's by this brand. I got these at Sierra Trading Post for like $10. They have the zipper pocket, which is really nice. The dry fit material, it's stretchy, it's comfy. So sometimes I will start off wearing my yoga pants. If the weather calls for a lot of rain, I will bring my rain pants. It's like, it's not a rain jacket, so it's a rain pants. If we're doing like a scramble up a mountain, and you're gonna be on your hands and knees, then I'll probably opt for layering with my adventure pants, just so I don't get these cut up on rocks and stuff. Next thing that I wanna talk about is a bandana. Bandanas are great because they cost a dollar at Walmart, and I know a lot of people use them as pee rags instead of carrying around toilet paper. Obviously, you need toilet paper if you're gonna do number two, but if you're gonna do number one, I know a lot of people just use this, tie it to the back of their backpack and let the sun sanitize, dry it off. So that's use number one. Use number two is if you're hiking in the desert, you can cover your face like this. You can use it as, as, as an accessory for like this. You can use it in your hair as a little sweat rag. You can use it as a tourniquet if it comes to that point. You can use it as a bandage if you cut your hand. There's so many uses. You can use it as kindling if you need to start a fire. Um, yeah, having a bandana, a dollar, scrunches up really small. Definitely a necessity to have in your backpack. For a headgear, for in the winter time, I really like to hike in these, it's not a beanie, it just covers your ears. This allows me to have a ponytail or a bun, but still keep my ears nice and warm. In the summertime, or really just any time, if it's not gonna be super, super cold, then this is my dry fit hat, and it's really lightweight. It keeps sun out of your eyes. You can wear it when it rains to keep the rain out of your eyes. I have two gloves that I wanna show you. I have a kind of like a liner and then a thicker one. So these are really, really thin. You have full flexibility. These ones actually have the little pads on the fingers so you can still use your phone. So if I'm going somewhere in the winter 
and it's cold but it's not snowing i will wear these they're a mixture of wool and polyester and these are three millimeters thick they'll keep your fingers warm but these are not waterproof if i'm going somewhere where i'm gonna expect to see snow then i'll just bring the gloves that i wear when i go snowboarding because they're waterproof i feel like this video is just all over the place next i have my socks these are by merrill i really like these because they're extra padding on this part of the foot and then the heel and then if you can kind to tell they squish in at the center to just give you some really good support these are actually my husband's and I didn't realize that until I brought these down here I have the exact same pair just smaller but these are really really thick these I know are 100% wool so these are definitely thicker so now on to my favorite part these are my favorite hiking boots that I have ever had. These are by Columbia. I don't know the exact name of them, but I bought them on Amazon, so I will find them and link them down below. I got these in a size seven and a half. I normally wear a size seven, so I size up in these just because I do wear thicker socks. These are really nice because they're waterproof, but they're also really breathable and they're so, so comfortable. Like so, so comfortable. I wore these on the Inca Trail in Peru without having to break them in because I didn't have time. And they did not bother me at all. And yeah, to wear brand new shoes for four days on a, on a hike is kind of a miracle that these didn't hurt my feet. So for my second favorite hiking shoe, these are Merrell's. I forget the name of them as well. I got these right before we went on a cruise and we did a shore excursion to Virgin Gorda, the baths. And when you look on pictures online, it just looks really fun to be able to crawl in and out the rocks. When we moved from Washington to Florida, we didn't have hiking shoes for that kind of weather. We only had like big chunky ones like this, which you can't wear this in Florida. Your feet are going to like just soak in a pool of sweat. So we both got these. Um, he just has the male version. It has this really nice mesh and then the bottom has a lot of grip. They're perfect for hiking on slippery rocks. I typically don't wear socks with these just because I don't feel like you really need it. And it gives you the freedom to be able to walk in the water, not have to worry about your socks getting wet. These dry really fast because of the mesh material. I just think these are like the MVP of anything hot weather related type of hiking. This is my day hiking bag. Uh, I have another one that's bigger for like backpacking, but this one is 35 liters. It's by the brand Thule. It has a bunch of these little hooks that you can put carabiners on and you can hook stuff with. It has two pockets on the side. It has this type of backing so you don't sweat. It's very breathable. It has a hip strap that ha also had these little pockets that are very stretchy. I can actually fit my giant phone in this pocket. There's also this little, if you see that little blue dot, it's a little water droplet. You can put a camel pack, one of those water sacks. What's the name of those? Water thing. You can put those <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I can't think of it right now, but you could put one of those in there. For me, 35 is perfect. I put like spare jackets. I do carry a lot of camera stuff with me. <laughs> That's just my thing, um, but also snacks and water. So it's not too big. It's very light as well, so it's not a lot of excess material. And then these are my trekking poles. I did a video with Amazon. I feel like that was a while ago, but these are really nice. They're compact, they squish down, and I can strap them to my backpack like that if I don't need them. And they're also really lightweight. Ah, oh, that is it. I feel like I have been down here talking to the camera for over an hour. So that is everything that I have to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel and you are not subscribed yet, please do so. Okay. Bye. Yeah, it's a day. I'm hanging in the sunshine.